Hey guys, this is Nick. Welcome to another episode of Strange Spotting. Today we're going to take a look at another well-known piece of footage involving an alleged Bigfoot type creature, the I think I saw a skunk ape video. Is the subject a human in disguise or an undetected species of bipedal ape? Let's find out. As usual, I'm going to play the full unedited clip first. As most of you thrill seekers probably know, the majority of so-called paranormal videos out there is devoid of any information regarding the who, the where, the when, and so on and so forth. That's not to say that anyone who wishes to remain anonymous is a hoaxer, but we need to apply logic and rationality like serious researchers do, and consider the presence of information an element that corroborates a video's legitimacy. This footage is one of the few remarkable exceptions. We have the author's name, Josh Highcliffe, a date, October the 24th, 2013, a place nine miles west of Tunica, Mississippi, the approximate time of the day when the video was taken, 6 p.m., and the video description with many details that can be used in our investigation. I'd like to get one thing out of the way first. I don't think anyone could rationally sustain the idea that the subject we're looking at is a bear or any other known animal. What we're looking at is either CGI, a human wearing a costume, or an unknown bipedal ape. These, in my opinion, are the only reasonable options. That said, the YouTube description reads, I was out hunting hogs just sitting in a part of the swamp I have heard them before. It is not too far from a road. We have no way to verify the claim of this being a swamp outside of Tunica, Mississippi, or anywhere in the USA, but we can agree, given the kind of vegetation, the visible water on the ground, and the splash sounds produced by the chunks of bark thrown by the subject, that this is, in fact, a swamp. And that generally equates with two things, regardless of where in the world the swamp is located. Crocodilians and water snakes, either of the constricting or the poisonous kind. If what we're looking at is indeed located in Mississippi or anywhere else in the southeastern United States, it more specifically means 
alligators, which can measure up to 15 feet or 4.6 meters, and are responsible for 38 fatalities in the U.S. alone since, since the 1950s, and cottonmouth, commonly referred to as water moccasin, whose venom can be fatal to humans. Another potentially dangerous animal is the alligator snapping turtle, with documented cases of fingers bitten off by this species. Last but not least, swamps are a microclimate where temperature and humidity are generally higher than other areas. Since Tunica has average temperatures for the month of October ranging from 53 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 11 to 24 Celsius, it's fair to say that even in the fall it would be quite warm and humid in a swamp. What I would like you to ponder for the moment is this. How realistic is it for a person to wear a heavy furry costume that could impede their movements and make them sweat profusely in a warm, humid climate and stand in a place teeming with dangerous animals either for an agreed-upon hoax or to play a prank on an unsuspecting hunter armed with a rifle? Here is exactly what I've seen. I'm not sure what it is, but can someone please tell me? Is there a person who can do video analysis or something? I got scared and ran away. I wish I stayed to keep taking the movie. This is how the video description opens. Then, right after the tiny excerpt I read earlier, I was wearing hunting camo and just sitting dead, still waiting for it to get dark. Cause that's when the hogs came out. I hear a noise behind the tree I was sitting on. I thought it was the hogs. When I got around, I could not believe my own two eyes. There was this huge black thing crouched by a dead cypress about 50 yards away. I thought it was a hog, but saw these big shoulders and a head upright with hands. It looked like it was digging out the stump. My first instinct was to run. I did not even think of shooting. Then I know no one will believe me. It was like everything slowed down. I was scared. I took out my iPhone and started videotaping it. I guess I pushed the record button twice because it stopped blinking red, but I pushed it again. I hear a truck driving down the road and the thing stood up. I was trying to be dead quiet. When it stood up, I could not control myself and ran. That stump was huge and I guess the sucker was seven feet tall. I am a hunter and I'm pretty darn good at guessing size. That's no bear. I don't know what to think. If someone can tell me what it is, or if someone was trying to prank me, I don't want to go back on my land. This is the first movie I have ever put on YouTube. The video looks better on my iPhone and computer. I always heard stories of Skunk Ape and Honey Island Swamp Monster from these parts, but never thought about it being real ever. Has anyone seen anything like this in Mississippi? A written description by the author allows us to compare it to the behavior perceivable in the footage, to look for discrepancies that could suggest forgery. For what I can gather, there is no inconsistency whatsoever, and the way the author acts is very plausible for someone coming across something extraordinary and having the nerve to record it. The shaky camera work suggests agitation and the knee-jerk reaction when the subject stands up is extremely realistic. I'm neutral on the cut and black screen with text saying that he had to push the record button again. It could be something that really happened or if what we're looking at is a hoax, a cut due to the costume wearing co-conspirator breaking character. As for the written description, two things are worthy of notice in my opinion. One could be detrimental to the video's legitimacy, while the other supports it. Number one, the author published the video in October the 28th, 2013, four days after the alleged event, and writes that the video looks better on his phone and computer. As of today, this is the only video ever published on his YouTube account, and it's been two weeks shy of 10 years. It could be argued that he never tried to produce a better, more polished version of the footage because he doesn't want more details to be visible. On the other hand, I don't know what effect such an experience can have on a person. 
Perhaps Josh Highcliffe, if that is his real name, was accused by family, friends and spectators of lying, and his emotional reaction was to never want it to touch the footage again. Number two, the title of the video is I think I saw a skunk ape, please help. And in the description, he first asks anyone to do video analysis and later repeat, repeatedly asks information to anyone regarding the subject. Why would a hoaxer be so forthcoming? That doesn't rule out the possibility of Josh being the victim of a prank. But for now, I assert that both his behavior in the video and the cues in his written account overwhelmingly point to his sincerity. Let's turn our attention now to the subject. Even before looking at how it moves, we should ask ourselves, what is it doing and why is it doing it? It's quite evident that it's removing big chunks of, of chunks of bark from the dead tree and the most likely reason is that there must be something edible under it, presumably grub. The author writes that it's a dead cypress and from the looks of it I think that's correct. This is quite probably a Taxodium disticum, also known as bald cypress or swamp cypress, a species indigenous to the southeastern United States, including Mississippi. And two very good candidates for the larvae are Acmedera pulchella or flat-headed bald cypress sapwood borer and the Archips goyerana, also known as the bald cypress leaf roller, which as the name suggests are both parasites specific of the swamp cypress. I'd like to point out that I considered also another possibility, Miocastor coipus, commonly referred to as nutria. As you can see in this map created by the US Geological Survey, this invasive species distribution includes the area of Mississippi where this footage was allegedly shot. I considered it for a bit that the subject may be trying to reach a nest of baby nutrias, which are always close to or on top of water, but that led me to a realis realization that disqualifies this hypothesis. The subject's hands reach several times for the mouth. Here they are. One. Two. Three. And four. I can't help noticing that, given the ongoing debate of whether we'll need to include insects and larvae in our diets in the future, that, you know, our actor here seems to be a very progressive foodie. Jokes aside, I'm going to build on the previous section with these last considerations. If this is a hoax, given how the majority of hoaxes tends to depict a fake creature walking or standing in front of the camera, why would the hoaxers in question come up with such a specific and unusual behavior? This would force the actor to focus on the trunk to give a realistic interpretation, thus exposing him even more to the risk posed by animal predators. I consider this another element lessening the plausibility of the hoax hypothesis, and even more so for the prank hypothesis, who would wear a bulky and sweat-inducing ape suit in a swamp, possibly teeming with dangerous animals within the confines of someone else's property in a gun-friendly state, and give their back for several minutes to an unsuspecting hunter just to pull a prank? This defies any logic, in my opinion. Now, let's take a look at the subject's body for clues as to whether it's human or not. Unfortunately, the full figure is never on display in the footage and the face is invisible. The only physical feature clearly visible is the conical shape of the head, but that's not in any way a useful element because it's easily replicate, replicated in a costume. As usual, I've resorted to photogrammetry and anthropometry to extrapolate helpful information. I've used this tree as reference for height estimates. When the subject stands up, we see the majority of its body and a realistic estimate of the full height is 5.5 times the tree trunk diameter. This is not a very big tree, so I've made a table with five hypothetical diameters 
from 12 to 20 inches. I think 12, 14 and 16 are the most realistic possibilities and the inferred height is 5.5 to 7.33 feet or 1.68 to 2.24 meters. If we take 6.42 feet or 1.96 meter as the average height, it's quite clear that although tall, we're still well within the normal ranges of human height. While watching the clip over and over, I realized there is something else that can be used. In this photogram, we have a visual of the subject's bent arm as well as the torso. We know from anthropometry that the fully extended arm, including the hand, should be 1.167 times the torso, measured from the bottom of the skull to the sacrum. That ratio comes from the statistical findings of the arm being 3.5 head lengths and the torso only 3 heads. Given the poor image quality, I feel morally obliged to point out that there is room for error in the calculations I'm about to show you, and they cannot be taken as incontrovertible proof, but they are to be considered next to all the other observations made so far. As you can see, the arithmetical result of comparing the subject's arm and torso is 1.29. Even though it doesn't seem that big of a difference in numerical terms, this is incompatible with human anatomy. And this is possibly another element undermining both the hoaxing and pranking hypothesis. To wrap it all up, in this video analysis, we have observed two elements that could undermine the footage authenticity. The fact that the author hasn't put any effort in providing better video quality in the 10 years since it was released, and the subject's height apparently within normal human ranges. On the other hand, we have gathered several elements corroborating the footage authenticity. The author provides lots of info regarding himself and the clip. There are no clues in the description and in the on-video behavior suggesting dishonesty. The setting is a common habitat for alligators and poisonous snakes, as well as a warm, humid climate that makes wearing a costume quite difficult. The subject's behavior, in case of a hoax, would make them even more exposed to the attack of such predators. In case of a prank, the subject would be trespassing on someone else's property in a state with gun-friendly regulation and giving their back to a gun-wielding unsuspecting hunter. The subject performs realistic eating gestures and it possesses a non-human arm-to-back length ratio. The plausible elements clearly outweigh the implausible ones, and the resulting probabilities assigned to the three hypotheses considered – hoax, prank and undiscovered hominid – are as follows – 25% hoax, 10% prank, 65% undiscovered hominid. Therefore, in conclusion, I deem the I think I saw a skunk ape footage highly plausible evidence of an undiscovered species of bipedal great ape possibly a hominid, that inhabits the forests and swamps of the southeastern United States. Do you agree with this analysis? Is there any specific video or mystery that you would like me to analyze? If so, let me know in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, it would really help the channel grow if you could hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.